Hi everyone, my name is Parth Mahendru and the topic of my presentation is using artificial intelligence for the analysis of thermally sprayed functional coatings. Before I begin, I'd like to thank my supervisors, Dr. Musa Tembli and Professor Ali Dawlat Abadi for all the help and support. If at any time you feel overwhelmed or confused, I encourage you to scan the QR code. The aim of this project is to use artificial intelligence to eliminate the need for physical experimentation and hence predict thermal coating and their properties. This project acts as proof of concept for our model, acting specifically on the example of suspension plasma sprays. We chose them since SPS sprays are one of the most chaotic thermal sprays. The question now arises, the need for artificial intelligence. Why not just experiment? And the answer is experimentation is expensive and time consuming. You require extensive ex equipment and expertise to handle. And finally, results are heavily dependent on environmental factors and process parameters. And diagnostic systems like DPV and AccuSpray exist. However, for SPS particles, SPS suspension plasma sprays, suspension particles are more than a magnitude smaller to be measured by these standards. And finally, the deposition occurs very close to the jet, which creates noise in our recordings. Our plan is simple. We predict coating characteristics and features by estimating sliding angle and water contact angle. From this, we produce images that correspond to the certain sliding angle and water contact angle, hence saving on time. On the top, you can see an infographic explaining our process, which I will go on about later. Now on to the process and methodology of actual predictions. We use predictive analytics, GANs, and computer vision. We used two types of predictive analytic models, basically regression and tree-based. Uh, we used numerous different models and decided on one, namely XGBoost, to give us satisfactory answers. And we compared accuracy using R2 score and degree error. Now we come on to GAN general adversarial network. GANs are like the analogy of a merchant and a thief. The thief sees an item at the merchant shop and tries to counterfeit that and sell it back to the merchant. Initially, when he does that, he gets caught. Over time, he learns from his mistakes and becomes as good as the merchant. The GAN works similarly. You provide an input of real images to the GAN and the generator creates fake inputs. You feed both to the discriminator. The model learns from it, its mistakes and that is by, as the discriminator can distinguish between the generated images and the real images. Over time, the generator gets better and better at counterfeiting the real images, so to say. And this is when we know the GAN has succeeded in producing an image. Finally, we use computer vision algorithms, namely blob detection using determinant of Gaussian method to identify columnar structures and other microstructure properties such as size, convexity, and sparsity. Where this helps us is analyzing sliding angles versus column structures. As we can see in the three different images, as we increase the sliding angle, the column density decreases. How it all fits together is as follows. You input spray conditions, which go into the predictor model. The predictor model predicts sliding angle and water contact angle which corresponds to a class of image data sets dependent on the sliding angle. This goes to the GAN and the GAN in turn produces an image. The image is verified by the blob detector algorithm, which can either pass or fail an image. If this image passes, we can see it again. If it does not, it sends it back to the GAN to generate a new image. Our results are as follows. On the right is a GIF of all the images that we have produced. The R2 score of our predicting algorithms, namely XGBoost, is 0 0.99 with a zero degree error. Now, I request you to pause your video and tell me which image do you think is an actual generated image and which image is a computer generated image. Did you guess that right? Let's do it again. What do you think in this case? Pause the video. This goes on to show that the GAN is working as expected and neither a machine nor human can distinguish between a real image and a generated image with great accuracy. Finally, we can say that we are saving on time and money while adding ex extensive flexibility in developing custom coatings for specific applications. And this is my time. Thank you.